What's going on everybody? Come back. We're going to see how well a U.S. military multi-caliber cleaning kit cleans the Glock 17. <laughs> my outdoor crew doing we got a little run to oh we got a fun package on the channel tonight we're gonna play with first time you've seen one of these on the channel in a long time and i do apologize but it was basically for channel survival basically all it is so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at i've got a multi-caliber U.S. military gun cleaning kit. And I do believe these are put together by Otis. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I think they are. If you know, let's see, I was trying to look to see if it told anywhere. But there's a lot of Otis stuff. It's There's your, let's see if I can get this where you can see it. There's your, it says 5.56, 5, 7.62, 9mm and 45 cal IWAC. And there's your nsn number right there i don't think i look at that i have seen these on ebay one of the cool things i thought that came with it is the gerber multi-tool which i already have one of these this one's not as broke in as mine this one's pretty dad blame uh, fresh i mean the the blades on it are awesome but the whole the whole tool is health it's just, I mean, it's clean as all get out. I don't think it's ever used. Very rarely if it was used. So anyway, it comes with a pair of those, and then it comes with all the necessities to cleaning your gun in the field. But we're going to see if it'll clean one good enough in the old garage here. But basically, I've got the Glock 17 sitting here. Uh, she had 200 rounds or so put through this past weekend. So she's kind of dirty, dirty. I'm not going to show everything because I know how things have gotten on YouTube with guns and everything. So I'm just going to brush this thing up. We're going to run some stuff through the barrel. Uh, barrel's not that bad. I mean, I've seen worse. See if you can see. Yeah, you can kind of see it. But anyway, um, I do have a steel guy rod in this thing. Uh, this one is from brass stacker i think not 100 sure but i think it's who it's through on this glock 17 we do have a fiber um sights and we've got that logo on the back mia pow so that's pretty much it this is a brown framed glock gen 3 I'm not a big fan of the Gen 4s or the Gen 5s. I like the Gen 3. It's something about those finger grooves I kind of like. Um, I just like the way it feels. But Chase um, is on his way to having his concealed carry permit. He has to wait for his age right now. He's been through, he was able to go through his class. Um, then he's got to get his fingerprint done and turn 21 and go to the state and he'll be considered a um, concealed weapons carrier in uh, Tennessee um, now there are two levels to the um, concealed carry in Tennessee now my style that I have I can conceal and open carry which I do not open carry I don't even I'm not even going to get into that the one he's got, he can only open carry. I mean, only uh, conceal carry. He cannot open carry at all. So anyway, I'm going to get to work on this, and we'll look and see how things come out as it goes, but I will not be showing the actual work. But we're going to see if the components that are in this kit will do the job you need to do even at home. All right, be back in a second. Oh, in case you're wondering on the guns right now, wintertime, always use the royal purple um i've read a bunch of things about it in cold weather it seems to um, hold its properties a little better normally now i will use ballastol i use ballastol 
all the time on everything else. I'll even use ballast on my blades. Uh, any of my high carbon blades, I'll use ballast all. Um, this I use on my 1911 especially um, because of its, you know, properties it's supposed to have. So um, I'm going to use it tonight on the Glock 17 and I think she'll be fine for the winter. Then come summer, I'll go back to the ballast all. I'll do a bath clean on it and we'll switch it back over. Now let me show you. These, the kit comes with patches for your 556. And I like how they don't have 223 on there. <laughs> and 762, 9mm, 45 are all in this bag. So you can take these patches and use those on those cross calibers. These are only meant for 76 or for 556. And they tell you real quick to make sure you've got the right patch for the right gun. Pretty cool. Another tip I'll throw in real quick on cleaning this pistol. I always spray down my barrel before I do anything so that it has time to soak while I'm cleaning the my, the internal stuff. Um, that way when you get to the barrel, it's it's easy. It's done. Be back in a second. I've got to say, we were I was cleaning the uh, slide up and uh, it went through 200 rounds of Winchester white box and she's pretty clean it wasn't that bad I was expecting it to be really super dirty but uh, it's not it's not really it's not bad at all um, once or twice a year I will get out the I do have a uh, ultrasonic cleaner uh, I'll take these things down to bare minimum well when I say down to bare minimum I take everything apart and I will run it through that thing and then you basically starting over with your oiling and everything, but that's fine too, because you're getting good clean oil on a good clean surface, and you know it's well protected. Um, like I said, what I use between using the Royal Purple, which is an all synthetic oil, and the Ballastol, which is another all synthetic oil, I don't use any other oils on my guns. I just never have. Um, well, I'll take it back. I've used this. I don't know if anybody's ever used that. The G96, it's another one of those all-in-one cleaner and oiler at the same time. It's some pretty good stuff. I haven't used it in a while. Um, mainly everything I use is Ballastol. Um, but like I said, in the wintertime, I kind of like going to the Royal Purple. Uh, you can look all of it up online. And there's all kinds of articles about the Royal Purple versus some of the others. Uh, as far as wintertime use. So go check it out. Uh, I have a thing for synthetic oils and some of my mechanical stuff. Uh, my truck runs synthetic all the time. I've always run synthetic in my vehicles. Um, I just feel like it pro prolongs the life of the car. So before I get in trouble for showing you things, I'll be back in a minute. The cool thing about this kit, it comes with its own rod system. Um, Put very, you know, you can put, let's see, where's one, two, three, four, five sections of it. So it's long enough to clean the barrel of any of the rifles plus the pistols. I mean, this particular pistol, that's all you need. Um, I am going to run this through this real quick. Now, I know Glock came with a uh, special bristle brush to run through these. I've never used that thing. I've always used my brass brushes. I've never had any problems I use my brass brushes in this thing but we're through and like I said that was yeah that was all that we needed was that one pass through with the brush now I'm gonna run some uh, swabs through it and we'll come back now on this uh, clean of the barrel with the swabs I'm not gonna open the nine millimeter or the 226 swabs I'm gonna save them uh, because I'm probably going to end up putting this kit in my truck to have it in my truck for all the time sakes. Because um, you never know when you might need it. You never know what might happen. So I have plenty of cotton swabs here. So I'll use these. We'll run them through the um, barrel real quick. And I'll come back and we'll show you how the barrel was after that one swabbing with the brush. Because if I'm not mistaken, the last time I cleaned this gun, I know it had ballast all put through it. So... We'll see in a second. Okay, another thing. When I'm cleaning a gun, when I run the patch through there, I don't pull it back out 
and run it back through, I pull it out, throw it down, and grab another one. Kind of like that. Take it off, pull it back out, put another one on it, and go again. Okay, let's take a look at the patches. So this is patch number one. That's the first patch that went through there. You can see all the crap and crud that came off. There's patch number two. See how much cleaner it is? And then there's patch number three. Now I could probably run a fourth patch through it and get just a little bit more. But I want to save what oil's in there because one, the gun's probably going to sit for a while again before it's used. Um, I will take, I've got some of these heavy duty paper towels and wipe that ramp off really good. Make sure we get all the blow by and everything that's on the ramp cleaned off so it's nice and smooth. That is a number one contributing factor to some of your jams is a dirty ramp. We don't like dirty ramps. We like clean ramps. So anyway, that's um, that barrel. I've pretty well wiped it down, cleaned it out. Let's see if I can aim. There we go. See the shininess in that thing. Look at that. She's pretty. Yeah, she's good and clean. She's good to go. All right, so I'm going to finish wiping down the gun. Um, so my take on this U.S. military multi-caliber kit is I think it's a I think it's a winner, dude. Uh, if you can get your hands on one, I've seen them on eBay. Purchase one to put it in your vehicle, or if you need one for your range bag, it's great. I love this T-handle. I really do. I love this T-handle. It's awesome. And it basically, let's see. Oh, there we go. It folds down on itself and stores away. And that's it. Yeah. So you don't have to put any extensions on for cleaning pistols, but if you had to clean a 223 or 556 barrel or an AK barrel, you would have to use this. Use the, all of them. Or, you ready for this? Let's see, how do I get to it? I gotta remember how to get to it first. Oh yeah, here we go. Or they throw in their metal or their uh, cable system. Uh, you can use the cable system instead if you wanna do that. Cable system's nice. I've used them a time or two. I've got a couple different versions of a cable system. Plus, use, well, a lot of times when I'm at home cleaning, I use uh, boar snakes. I love boar snakes. Um, some people don't like them. I like them. I think they do a good job. If I'm going to be putting a gun up, though, for a while, I will tend to want to use the old school method and clean it really, really good. Um... Just, just because, I mean, I, I want a good, heavy oil presence in that um, gun barrel when it's sitting away for a while. Uh, that way, I know the first shot, you're going to have a, a lot of uh, oil blow back in your face. But you know what? Um, I know my gun's been sitting there and it's been um, well preserved, shall I say. All my guns that sit for very long. And like, for instance, I've got a lot of dad's old guns. Um, and I love this. So, you know, it's coming from Otis. It's got the their finishing rag, or what I call the finishing rag, where you can wipe off a lot of the funk that you missed or whatever. Um, silicone rag. I'll get it right here in a minute. So we're going to finish cleaning the 17 up and get her ready to go back into hiding until she's ready to go shooting again. Like I said, Chase has uh, been at the range quite a bit, which when you're a new shooter, well, he's not really a new shooter. He's like I said, he's been through uh, Metro police department's uh, stuff. And then he went to what I think is one of the top guys in the state as far as um, taking his concealed carry le uh, lessons and stuff which was guys, uh, Tim Guy, which is over in Murfreesboro. Um, he's just top notch and he worked with them really good. And I've Chase learned a lot from him. So that's the main thing. All right, um, I'm gonna put the thing back together. Can't watch that. Cause you know, it might get me demonetized if I was monetized, <laughs> but I will say this. 
I think this Otis kit would be a great addition to your car to have a or your range bag to have all the tools that it's got in it from Otis. Uh, here's the cool thing. You can go on Otis's website and order any piece that's missing off of this kit. Now, I, like I was saying, I don't think it's ever been used because that brush does not look like it's ever been in a in an AR. And if you've shot ARs any, you know dadgum good and well that that brush gets dirty quick. Um, oh, I like this. This is a uh, muzzle cap. A shoot-through muzzle cap you can put on the end of your nice uh, boom booms. This is a lens brush that's in there. Looks like a lipstick case. And then let's see, what's this other one? I, oh, I forgot what everything is. This is just a dust brush. So if you need dust, dust off of your, you know, clean out some of that stuff on the gun, you know, say down in here, if you're just getting the light stuff out, you just dust it like that. Uh, you do get a small bottle of CLP. I have no problems with the CLP stuff. Um, I just, I don't use it. I'm going to leave that in there to have it for backup for my, um, cleaning out in the field if I have to. Now this is Otis's premium anti-fog lens cleaner. I've never used this, so put down in the comments down there if you've used it and how you like it. But what I'm going to finish out with, this kit will clean a gun. This kit will do a sufficient enough job to get you back whatever you got to do. Um, you know, if you're just one of those guys that, you know, um, has to have your gun clean before you put it away immediately, then you can clean it there at the range with this thing with no problem um or if you're on a long trip need a cleaning kit that'd be a good one if you're out on competition or something um oh well, there's several different ways it can be used and become part of your kit so anyway i didn't want to make this too long i may have to do some cutting all right guys that's it for now make sure you check out all the links down below and we'll see you on the next one be prepared.